welcome to my channel Fred makes things this is another unboxing video um, of this vintage um, craft tile craft I guess sorry about the glare on my box I keep move I moved the light around but I can't seem to figure out how to make it go away anyway uh, I'll give you a brief story on how this box made it into my possession and then we'll open up and see what's inside. So um, I became part of a Facebook gifting community um, almost a year ago, I would say. Uh, basically, it's a group where people um, post things to offer like clothing and household items, games, furniture basically anything, um, some food um, that they think that their neighbors might like or need. Um, and then there's also people who ask for things too, like clothes for their children or like a, next, like a new table or whatever, right? It's like a little gifting economy. You give what you want, you get, you ask for things, right? Things like that. And I had, there was a lady who was cleaning out her basement and posted, this lovely box as uh, as a gift and I said I'd like to have it and she gifted it to me and it's been sitting in my closet for months and months ever since. So I haven't even opened it up. I have no idea what is inside. I thought I would do that all on camera, um, see what it looks like and then I'll probably do a second bit video um, making the craft, right? This will be an exclusive unboxing and then there'll be a making of the craft. What really excites me is how old it seems to be, right? Like you can tell the box is pretty old, right? The design is pretty old. And down here, it says 1950. So 1950. Down here, it says 1957 Walco Bead Company, Inc. New York, New York. So that excites me. Um, and then they're calling them porcelain tile bead mats. And then it can say over here, it says used under teapots, dishes, hot plates, flower pots, also as a table decorations, coasters, and wall plaques. And it looks like it's kind of like just a beaded mat. So that would be exciting. Like, like to have like another little trivet or some coasters or something like that. So, like I said, I haven't opened the box up yet. I have no idea what's inside, how it looks, anything like that. So, let's have at it. Well, this looks like it's in pretty good shape. Catalog of bead craft supplies. Well, that's really cool. Walco. Has anybody heard of Walco? I'm not an American, um, so I've never personally heard about it. Um, and I don't think I ever saw Walco stuff in Canada, but we will see. So let me know. Let me know if you've heard of these guys what their story was. Well, they have a word of appreciation to all of their customers. So cool. This book is in really good condition. Again, I don't know how old this set is. The box is 1957. I wonder if there's like an order form or something. So cool. All right, what do we have? So we have an entire container of beads that hasn't even been touched. Cool. 
Then we have what looks like was probably another container sealed up. Um, these are all oh, these are the designs. Looks like somebody cut them out. Yeah, looks like they were all one. Somebody cut them out. Well, that was nice of them. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six different designs. Cool. I don't have enough space to show you. Um, a little order guide with all of their different beads on. The beads feel nice. Then this is the instruction manual. Okay. Oh, see? You can also design your own if you like. Huh. And then this is a price list. That's amazing that this was that this all still managed to stay inside. Is there an order form on here? No. Too cool. And then pom pom instructions. Cork cork and pom-pom instructions. I'm guessing this is for something else because I don't know what a cork and pom-pom would be doing inside of a bead kit. Too cool. Oh, and then these are um, just instructional. More design paper. Uh, another project. Yeah. Beta baskets, coasters, and table mats. This will be an excellent handicraft for all. I'm closing here with a pamphlet. Here with a pamphlet of illustrated step by step instructions. Shown on the other side of this sheet are the materials used, colors available, and prices. <laughs> oh, and here you go. Parts used for making baskets. Parts used in coaster. Oh, that's so cool. I wonder if I could, like, look and see what they have and see if I could, like coaster, table mat, serving basket. See if I have anything that I could mess around with. Okay, well, there, this seems like there's more things. Another price list, more sales things. Instructions for different shapes. More shapes. Oh, and here's how you make it. Two needle method. Single. Huh, I'm gonna have to read this over before I even try making one of these. Oh, I can make a dragon. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. These are pretty too. But who wants to see me make a dragon? That's pretty too. Cool. Okay, what else? Oh, it's part of that instructional book. Instruction and patterns for making tile craft mats. So this, I'm guessing, sits like this. One, two, 
three. And that's seven and nine. So that will be in the middle. Seven. Oh, there's more on the inside too. Oh, that's pretty too, the six pointed star. Yeah, well I have the entire booklet. So neat. All right. And then more of this. Oh, I have the instructions for this. Plastic coaster stick. Mm, interesting. Here's the order form. Okay, let's see if they have a date on this. cool though and then another price list and more promotional materials oh cool that's a lot of paper okay so I have the beads I have somebody starting one the heart looks like a heart coaster hey like when you add it out it would be here I guess Hey, maybe I'll finish this first to get like a um, idea of how to do this and then do the dragon or another one. Let me know in the comments which one you think I should try first. And then the thread. Wow, I even have the needles still. I wonder if this thread is still any good. feels good and it looks like I have a starter somebody started something blue and white too that is that is so cool that is just oh so neat so neat I'll have to look up the lady who gave this to me and thank her for it I like these too. Like if I get adept enough, I don't know if I'd actually write on these, but I would use them as like a guide. Oh, how to do it too on the back. All right, what do you think of this project? Do you like it? Are you ex as excited for it as I am? Let me know in the comments. Um, I'll probably get this video up and then, I don't know, see if anybody has anything to say about it first and then take your suggestions. I'm definitely going to finish this though. On camera or off, I haven't decided. Um, but it would be good to get practice on how to make them first before attempting something like the dragon. Um, I like the six pointed star too. Where's that book? Maybe we'll go over them again. Yeah, see, that's the star. All right, here are possible patterns. So we have a sailboat. We have the windmill. We have the six-pointed star. We have a dog. Apparently, Rags is trained and can do tricks according to the changes in design you may choose to make. Oh, Ducky Lucky is his name and offers the beginner a simple pattern to start with. It has an even amount of rows and the simplest method is used. See page four. And then we have a tulip. Maybe I'll do the duck after the heart. Um, alphabet, bowl of flowers, a teapot, the dragon, a diamond shape, and it just goes on scalloped design. I like the look of that one too. And I like this one too. The modernistic oval. 
and the scalloped border. Probably going to stay away from that. The fleur de lis, that would be cool. Fleur de lis. Je parle français aussi. Um, yeah, a bunch of different things. Let me know what you think I should do first or second. Possibly third. I might, like I said, I'm going to finish that and I might do the duck. And then we'll get uh, viewer feedback. So, thanks for watching. This is a longer video than I expected it to be, but so much fun going through an old tile kit. Tile making kit. I also have to look to see if I can get myself some more porcelain tile beads. Because then I could make a whole bunch of things. Because I assume that the beads in here would run out eventually. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, check back in the future. Subscribe if you like to see my future creations with this box. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, thanks. Thanks for watching. I've said that before. Um, I'll chat again with you guys again.